Hello and welcome to this new tutorial and uh, this tutorial will describe the face landmark detection from images. So let's see how we can do it. I already created a project in Windows Forms application and configured it to use EMG UCV 4.4. You can check one of my previous videos in order to configure the EMG UCV in Windows Forms application. So let me first add a new menu item here and name it my face and within this face i'm going to add another sub menu item and call it land detection double click on it and to use this landmark detection we need a face detector and a model that should give us the landmarks and you can download these required files from the GitHub. So the first thing that we need is the LBP cascade frontal face underscore improve.xml, which I'm using in this one. You can use any of this. So this can be found in OpenCV data and in this LBP cascades. I will also provide the link in the description. You can download directly from the GitHub. So let me go and download this cascade frontal face improved and we can see it as a raw file okay and then i just want to save it and i'm just downloading it on the desktop and keeping the name as it is so i'm just clicking save and uh, you can see also a description of i'm just following this uh, article and make some changes and i'm using it for frontal face detection you can read this article it's very useful for how we can use the OpenCV's uh, face mark API. And another thing that we really need is this is the model, trained model that give us actually the landmarks. So uh, I will also provide the link uh, for this one in the description of the video. So this is the one that we needed. So I need to click on download and you can download it. Save as wherever you want. So these two, this LBF model dot YAML is for detecting the landmarks, and this is for detecting the faces. So I will get, detect the faces, and then from those faces we will find the landmarks. So I'm going to copy those into my this data folder. I have already this. Uh, maybe in the previous video I have used this uh, hard cascade so this time I'm going to use the LBP so what can I do now is just grab these files and copy into this data folder okay that's done and let me rebuild this okay it is fine and uh, so in the code for this let me double click on again to make sure i'm in the right place so the first thing that i need is a try cage so that i shouldn't have any problem message box ex dot message just i want to show in case if i have an exception uh, what i need is a picture so that uh, an image in my picture box so i am assuming that user had loaded an image in the picture box otherwise i will not process so we can check that by using picture box dot image if this one equals equals null it means there is no image we can just return without doing anything return. okay once we are sure that the image is there i am just going to load these uh, xml files okay so I can find the uh, root directory. Uh, I want to find out dynamically the path. Or maybe I can copy it, but if you are copying this project into another computer, then it will be a problem. So what I will do is I want to find out this uh, working directory. System dot input output dot get full path. Path dot get full path okay 
And by the way, uh, you might know that when I run this program, so let me open it in the open file, open folder in the file explorer. The exe file will be in my bin. And since I'm using this debug mode, so inside this debug, and this is the path it will return to me. Actually, I don't need this path, so I need to go once more back once more back and then i will be able to access the data so this root directory i'm going to get the path of the project or, or my exe file and then i want to escape or move out of this one so first one folder another folder so i move two times slash and we can just do it something like this so that we shouldn't have any problem of backslash and now I can get the path of this frontal face and the model. So I can create a string and call it cascade. Now I can read this LVP cascade frontal face. So I'm just going to write LVP face path is equal to you can give any name or root directory plus it will be inside our uh, what we call it slash data slash and what is the name of whatever the name of this file is i'm just going to copy it and paste it here so this is the path of our frontal face which is present over here and we can also select this model path or model is also located at this location so this is the model path so I'm going to copy this and paste it right here. And instead of this, I'm going to I'm going to paste it. So this is just we write the path. We obtain the path for our frontal face, and this is for the model. So once we define their paths, then we can go ahead and load them. For example, for the frontal face, I'm going to use the cascade classifier and call it. Classifier okay, let me write it like this is equal to new cascade classifier, and uh, this one is also expecting a file path, so I'm going to give it LBP face path. So this classifier will be used to detect the faces. Similarly, also for the landmark detection, I need a face mark LBPF. Remember, I'm using the LVP. So I'm going to create an object for this. Face mark is equal to new face mark LVP. Oh, okay. This one is also expecting uh, a face mark LBF params. So I'm just going to first create that object. Face mark. Uh, these are the params. I'm just going to name them as model params or face mark new params. And I'm going to use the default values for these parameters. So whatever, if they are not satisfactory, then I will change them. So we need this object in of this face mark LBF. And we also need an object of the parameters. And if you look at, there are different parameters in, available which you can set. Overlapping, cascading face in it, and these, so on and so forth. But for now, I'm just using the default values. And if it doesn't work, then I will update it. So these two objects are ready. Uh, this is for face detection. I will detect the face. And then I will give that face to this my land face mark object. It will give me landmark. By the way, you might know that um, it basically generates in 68 landmarks, and these are everybody. Everything is numbered, so uh, like one zero one two three four two sixty eight, and every location is fixed. So these are the landmarks that we we are, we would like to calculate in this. So first, let's read the image. So I'm going to create a variable, new bitmap. And I'm going to read from picturebox.image and then convert it into an EMGU CV structure. I'm going to use this to image. 
in the sense it is a color image i am assuming so i just keep it as a color image and uh, we can convert it into a gray image i'm gray we need to process it for the gray image so img dot convert we use this convert function to convert from rgb into a gray image and i don't want to change the depth so i keep it as it is white okay and now we can detect the faces so i'm going to get those rectangular it will return the rectangles where the face exists so i'm keeping them in a variable called faces and we can use this classifier dot detect multiscale it has better performance so i'm going to pass this img gray so this method will detect the faces and they give me is if it finds more than one then it will be basically a an area of rectangles as you can see this faces is basically an area of rectangles now we can load this model a lvf model so what we can use is face mark dot load model so and then we provide the path of the model so model path so this one will uh, make ready our the model by reading the parameters or the weights and then we can use this uh, face mark dot fit method to detect landmark as an input i'm going to provide this is the input image from where it is going to detect the faces and the second parameter is represent region of interest so this is basically the faces from where we want to detect those uh, landmarks and the second parameter is the faces and the last parameter is the output parameter and i forgot to define this output so i'm going to define another thing here a vector of vector of point it should be point f remember floating point and i call them landmarks is equal to new vector of vector of points and we are going to copy these values into these landmarks oh this one is not expecting not an array in fact it is an mgucv's uh, input array so what i'm going to do easily is i can create a vector of rectangles let me call it rect is equal to new vector of rect and i can pass these faces so that it will convert it into an emgu cv structure and then i can use these in fact i call them rects it's better to call them rects so these are rectangles i just converted this uh, area of rectangles into a vector of rectangles just to pass it into this fit method and that's it so once one more thing that we can get is when you look at this fit method it will return uh, a boolean whether it is done or not if it is done let's say a bool result is equal to this thing and if it is successful then we can say if result result if it is true then we can loop through all those landmarks that have been detected and we can show them okay if there are multiple if there is only one we just we can directly use this draw landmarks but if we are there are multiple then we can do something like this for i is equal to one and the faces how many faces that we have in our detected faces we want to say faces of length and uh, we can do something like uh, draw the landmark so i'm just calling it face invoke dot draw face landmarks and this one is asking i'm going to display it on our original colorful image and uh, then we can do it like land march so i landmark and uh, the color that you want to give for example if you want to give it in a bgr it means in red color and that's it and then at the end we can again show the picture box after drawing the landmarks so dot image is equal to 
img dot to bit main and that's it let us run it and see the results so let's select a file open it let me select my face and then click on landmark detection and that's it so you can see that the landmarks have been detected and they have been displayed on the face in a similar way as uh, i have described earlier that these are numbered like this and right now we should have 69 uh, landmark points detected which we can see for example by checking how many landmarks we have i'm going to put a breakpoint here and then again detect the landmarks and then i press f10 and when we check the landmarks as you can see it is basically a jagged array of point floats and you can see there are uh, there is only one landmark because there is only one face and this consists of basically 68 points from 0 to 67 and if you want for example we can display one of them uh, in a different color for example if i want to detect the nose and i want to display the point on the tip of our nose that is 33 so 33 means uh, let me display 33 here in a different color so what can i do right after this one is cv invo dot circle and I want to draw the circle on the input image and uh, by the way let me get it as a point so variable p is equal to landmarks this is whatever I and uh, then inside it I want to select the 33 33rd point as I have shown you and the second this one is expecting a point so I can create a new point from this p dot x comma p dot y and then what should be the radius I am giving the radius as 5 and we can give a different color for example uh, blue is 0 I want to give a green color and also thickness minus 1 means I want to fill it and by the way this is a float so i need to convert it into an int for example or is it going to accept the float i don't know anyways so we converted this float into an int point and we are displaying the only one point so let's see it let me select the same image once again and then landmark detection okay here you can see this is the exactly what has been shown that this is the tip of the nose so it is at the tip of the nose so the points are arranged in this way from zero and it goes on words and this one so if you want to detect the eyes landmarks around the eyes then you need to give these indexes so that you will get it and let's try with the multiple faces if i have a multiple faces let's say this one and then i'm going to detect the landmarks so now you can see that uh, it is perfectly working with the multiple faces because this is the while for loop that is for i mean if we have multiple faces then we, we should show it and that's it uh, for landmarks detection and i hope to see you in another video